So there are obviously lots of lessons to learn from those blockbusters, and um, I was asked to look a little closer into what uh, the success of the Game Boy. Uh, I started to ask all my game savvy friends uh, to see what they had to say about it, and uh, everyone was just answering in one direct, precise word, and that was Tetris. So I thought that this might become a very short session then. Um, Tetris was included from the very beginning uh, to in, in the, the release in 1989, and Nintendo had a long struggle, struggle with both the Russian developers and other parts to get the, the rights for the handheld device for it, so it was obviously a very important key for them uh, for, and for the release. Uh, I was thinking, why then Tetris and Game Boy was this perfect match that Nintendo knew of? Um, and I started to look at, it, it's kind of strange because um, other parts were doing very cool stuff at the same time, much cooler games, action games, um, and Tetris is considered and was considered by then too, pretty much a, girl for, a girl's game. So I went to the net and I uh, looked what people had to say about it, uh, about the Tetris then. And these uh, discussions has been the same for 20 years almost now. And this is only half a year old. I've heard a rumor that girls tend to like Tetris more than boys do. I like Tetris okay, but I'm a girl that likes first person shooters too. I think it's 50-50. I like boys more than Tetris, but Tetris is still way fun. Yes, because they like being able to put the long block into the small hole. And that's always fun to be a girl in, in games forums. Possibly because it's a low action game, but I like Tetris, says a guy in the end. These conversations are always like very confused and they are not leading to any answers. Uh, but I turned to, and I could have a long session in only talking about this genius thing about uh, girls and games, because that's my, my area. Um, but I went further and found a Swedish forums where they are getting a little closer to something. It's easy to start and get into, requires concentration, but no complicated steering button combinations, and the sessions are short. Are you not keeping up at all? Girls play Sims, because they are manipulative and want to control other people. It's easy to get hold of, no needs for new console or supercomputers, and no downloading to get the game. And here they are very close to, into something that has to both Tetris and Game Boy to do. But first we'll have a look at the competition before we do any conclusions. Uh, these are all other branded consoles, both earlier and later than, than uh, the Game Boy. Uh, the links in, in the middle is the, uh, is the Atari console handheld device released right after the Game Boy. Uh, this had much cooler processors for much cooler games, but was still not at all the same success. Um, all of these have focused on high graphics and fun action games mostly, and, and were you know, provided with a high technology of the time then. Um, that is targeting uh, hardcore gamers, of course. Hardcore gamers are mainly boys, about 16 to 30 years old. That is about 10% of the population. And if we look at the Nintendo devices, uh, I've urged for each and every one of these, and I've owned every one too. Um, and it's clearly to me, at least, that Nintendo uh, had some sort of idea of that the potential market of gamers were much more bigger than those 10%. So what they did is they made, they created um, a toy instead of a gaming console. Uh, a toy that where they, they wanted everyone to be able to possess one and able to, to play and start to play easily. So they prioritized a few things that, that uh, at the time no one else did. They prioritized long lifetime battery, for example. And with that long lifetime battery, it's important, this is kind of like circle, circle arguments, to make something portable and important, you know, like be able to put something in your bag and bring it to the schoolyard and let anyone else play with it, 
you have to have long life battery times, lifetime. So what they did is that they didn't prioritize beautiful graphics and they didn't prioritize uh, great uh, strong processors, which also made um, a lower cost, a lower cost for everyone to be able to buy. They also prioritized simple interaction for everyone with no pre-skills pre to be able to just pick it up and start playing. So what they did is, um, maybe a recipe, probably very important for many gaming actors today too, they made casual games as casual as ever possible for casual people. 